I'm not like a crocodile, you can't just put your hands over your head and look hands Just punch me in the nose. <laughs> That's a shark. And you know you can, uh, you can hit the side of the shark by rubbing them over oh, your nose. You can hit the side of the <laughs> you can hit the tire trap by stroking it. But that's what thunder is not. I thought you tried to pelt then, it in the nose. No, no, no that's to make it go away. <laughs> it works for most things. <laughs> no, but you rub it under its nose and it turns over and just goes. Anyway. Hello guys, we are MVB Gaming and today we're going to talk about the top, our top 15 worst games. Uh, by no means the, like, by no means these are not the worst 15 games of all time. We just have bad experiences with these. They're not the most common ones, they're not like a list of all yeah. the yeah, These like are just like ones 18. that are notorious for not working. For us. Not being uh, good. Or being too hard and they were aimed at four year olds. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway. So we not start off terribly terrible yeah. games. So we start off the list at number fifteen with Sonic the Hedgehog two thousand six. I think Sonic you're Next most Gen. qualified to answer this. My right, Xbox my Xbox. biggest problem with this game is it wasn't finished. For the most part, it was the, the story was terrible. It's it was uncohesive. That was. Just, I can just, that's one little bit, I can just ignore that. See, I heard that you said, you tried to ignore that happened. What happened. Was the it demo was only good or something? Yeah, like the demo, or? the demo was the E3 build. It was a more advanced build than the final build, because apparently it was unstable. And one of the things I have when we look at some of the E3 trailers, <laughs> is the, the, the biggest, most jarring thing ever, is when you're in the mock speed section, which are the sections of the game where you, yeah. where Sonic decides, hang on, my, my power is to run really fast. I'm going to start running really fast. So he says, and there's these sections where you need to jump between pillars. And he literally just goes into his T-model pose like that and just like moves between them. It's not a big issue, I know, but it really annoys me. Is, and when you look at the initial E3 trailer, so. look at the initial E3 trailer, he has animations there. It's like, you can see it does a couple of flates, braces for it. And in normal gameplay, when you're not in those sections, it actually has an animation. It could have and, been good as well uh, if they just put more time It could have been, the only thing that could have ever brought that down if they'd have finished it would have been the story. Because the story is uncohesive. It's time travel. And so it's almost easy to get wrong if you don't do the right things. I don't know why they picked time travel as a means of actually... <laughs> I'm trying to be serious here. No, no, no. Yeah, I never mind. It was my home. And the story is... Oh, you just can't follow it. Time travel's so easy to get wrong if you don't do it right. Back to the future, do it right. And, <laughs> yeah, if you don't do it right, it's terrible. It's not the worst game. Did they actually time travel in time at all? Yeah. What? In time splits. I have no idea. But it's, <laughs> it's not the worst game I've ever played, but it's... Not the best either. I had some memorable experiences. This is why it's number 15 so and not number so one. Put some effort into it. Yeah, they put some effort was, into it. Was it them who wanted to rip it out? I or? think it was either it was either the, the top guys at Sega or Microsoft. Yeah. Whichever one, I can't remember. But they were saying you have to cut it out by now. Xbox, yeah. hmm. it was like the what a way to introduce it. It's, yeah, it's, it's not the worst game of all time. We're having a sob story here because Ryan and Piano are just coming back now. But yeah. That's not edited. <laughs> it's actually not edited, that is live. Actual piano. I'm playing it on my knees. Just tiny piano. <laughs> right. Uh, number 14, Aliens Colonial Marines. I've never played it. I, like I haven't you guys. played it, but I know about it. I haven't played it. <laughs> why is it on the list? Why is it, why is it on the list? The, well, let me just. Well, you seem to be able to know the most about it, let, so... Let me say, like, Go ahead. the fact that the people actually tried to sue them because the demo was completely different from the actual game. Was it anything to do with the game? It was, like, the same thing, like, aliens and stuff. Was it, like, but a genre switch? No, I said genre switch, but the, the, the demo was, like, almost completely different to the game. Like, it had better graphics, it was, like, more solid, and, like... They had better concepts and then they brought the game out with it, it's terrible. So they actually people actually trying to sue them for false it's, advertising. It might not be the game itself that's <laughs> terrible, it's the no, whole it's terrible. Uh, the premise of it. Of it yeah. No, it's terrible. Why does this pencil have a condom? <laughs> Why is every pepper on? Keep the flavour in. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, um protection. Oh. You're talking oh, yeah, about like, how it's, yeah. And it's basically the best way to play it, if there is a best way. It's four players yeah. online. <laughs> no, it's four players online. 
but then you have like the four players online and about four NPC soldiers so there's like a million of you yeah. against like a few <laughs> aliens so it's uh, not scary at all and the aliens don't do like the classic aliens. It ruins the app, so, the it ru so it like ruins. It just comes straight at you. So because of that amount of overpoweredness is like none of the, it kind of yeah. just ruins really the atmosphere. It's overpoweredness a word. Really I just made it up right now. I mean, I know what you mean. Like, really yeah. Yeah. And the, the aliens just come at you normally in the films and like alien versus spread it again. Like, they all lace up the wall. They just go room. So yeah, that's uh, not good. <laughs> not good enough. <laughs> Number 13 looks bad, really masculine. Right, okay. I've played this game. I have. I have mine. It's not I mine. never. Is it? Is it is it not I didn't buy this. It's, uh, Why have you played Barbie it? Barbie Pulse Adventure Mystery, <laughs> Mystery Ride. No, seriously, play seriously, that. Though. no, and I was very entertained by it. I have to say, <laughs> it had You're very, very oh, gripping story I, of a horse going missing, and you have to go I and find have, it. Have, so is Marley it. and me, but with a horse. Um, I, but I just find, from an artistic point of view, it's terrible. I played it because my sister had it. <laughs> I played it because I just kind of found it and just sharpened it. Was I, yeah, I'm going to try no, this. No, but the voice acting's terrible, the story's it's terrible, it glitches out, like, you have to race, through, you have to race <laughs> through a canyon, right? While you're racing through the canyon, like, literally every time I played it, your head just went... <laughs> What, like someone, someone off screen activated a bobblehead cheat or something. Yeah, and you literally like <laughs> filled the canyon with your head. And then you have these random puzzle games, which are like impossible. We have to separate fruit and stuff like that. So it's it's completely ridiculous. And I hate it. Game, I hate it. Like, what? There's a brilliant commentary a bit on the YouTube by some like middle aged guy or something. It's like <laughs> I hate you, Barbie. It's like I hate you, Barbie. <laughs> Okay. Number 12 uh, on the list Pokemon. is Pokemon Rangers. Pokemon Rangers. I, I had this Wait, let the dog out. Ruby, do you want to go out? <laughs> Good hey, uh, um, I, I got this for Christmas one year and I was really excited because I was like, yeah, Pokemon! I think it was like one of the only years where no, uh, anyway. a new Pokemon game didn't come out. I can't remember, was it 2006 or something? Yeah. Um, and it just wasn't great. I mean, they were like, the whole thing they were trying to exploit is that Pokemon followed you and you could see them. And that was like the one unique thing it had. It was meant to be oh in a ball. God. <laughs> it, they followed you. And I was like, that defeats the, the whole Poke Pocket monster. It <laughs> defeats the whole object of Pokemon. Yeah, it's Mon. <laughs> it's Mon. <laughs> Mon. <laughs> Mon. Uh, well, well, then, again, then again, Pokemon Heart, Gold, and Soul, Silver, and Yellow, for them did a similar thing where they actually follow you around. Yeah. They own the leader of your party. What's does that, that one that's friendship, coming out so. soon, or it has come out, and you're like, you play it as a Pokemon, and you do like third person oh. fight. Pokey Park? Is it Pokey Park? It's like oh, some dungeon. So, yeah. Oh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Yeah. yeah. I think the horror in that like, is a bit I think too it's much. like. Dude, good, that's like, fine. No, but like, <laughs> I'm, all, I'm all for bringing out next gen Pokemon games and new Pokemon. I understand mm. why they do that. Just don't um, milk money. it. Just don't milk it by spin off games. Just get to the point, okay? Mm. Game Freak. Yeah, <laughs> damn it. What's next? Uh, what is next? This is not in order because we wrote all the games down and then put the numbers in. That was uh, number. That was number 12. 12 so what's number, number 11? 11. It's like an advent card. Number, number, <laughs> number 11. Tomb Raider Angels, Angels of Darkness. Darkness. No, not Angels, Angel. Angel of Darkness. Angel of D. Um, <laughs> I, I do not my to this game. No, I was, love Tomb Raider. The new like one that. is phenomenal. I've talked about this before. Phenomenal is. It's not a good game. What about you, Carl? Have you played it? I've, I've, then the only the only two <laughs> game I've actually played is the the twenty is it twenty twelve twenty thirteen is it? Uh yeah twenty oh. Twenty thirteen. Point being the newest one. I have never actually played another. I played it when my mate was over at my, at my house, but I've never actually. Such a good game. I have never actually played any of the other ones. I've seen them we being played, well. but I've never actually played. Like them. the originally is awesome, but that. It's just not, it loses the tomb raiding aspect. You're just a, a woman running around chasing things. I was in like, all I can remember is, I've still got the game. I can just, I remember like. Did you start off, you yeah, just like running over rocks and stuff. No, you're in like a Am I thinking of a wake castle. Oh. Not, uh, but it's like, no, it's like a hotel complex. Yeah. And you're like, just doing stuff and you die like immediately and have to go back yeah, to start. It's, I can get hard, at night time. There's, there's no rewards, <laughs> like you're not getting rewards from it, so. Right, number 10. Is a you put Winnie the Turd. Winnie the Turd, mature, <laughs> mature. Winnie the, Pooh. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. I can't remember the full title, but it was like Winnie, Winnie the Pooh Halloween Adventure or something. <laughs> I haven't played it. <laughs> Me neither. This is I, Tom's you know, I did play it. these games when I was a child. I don't play them currently, but I still could not beat that game. That was damn impossible. There was a section. Impossible. 
Impossible. Well, yeah, it was impossible. No, but it was just, it was, I really enjoyed playing it just before <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> Stop playing One Direction on the piano. It's horrible. It's been real, Tom. No offence to any One Direction fans out there. Yes, they are offence. Offence. Of all of you. All the offences. No, no, no we don't. Because if there are any One Direction fans out there, they will subscribe to us. Good. Why would a One Direction fan watch And if you are subscribed and you're a One Direction fan, unsubscribe I think it's a very niche like <laughs> One Direction and gaming. I don't think you get many of those people. Oh, it's like me, I like like heavy metal and stuff, and then I like football. <laughs> it's like one yeah. of the weirdest. It's like goth company. <laughs> goth bear a football game. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so you know the goths were actually like tribal people who yeah. overthrew the Romans. Yeah, Rumors. they were. Yeah. <laughs> well, they anyway, were why do you not like Winnie the Turd? <laughs> I don't like... Why uh, do you dislike it? Winnie the Turd, because it was so hard, and it, to be honest, it freaks me the hell out. Well, it's a Halloween some, game. No, it like not in a. It wasn't trying to freak you out in that way. Some of the like backgrounds and stuff were just the light. It just wasn't. It wasn't right. The piano guy's version. That's good. But... And there was one section where you're playing as Tigger, and there's like twisters and tornadoes and like weird things jumping out at you. I just couldn't get past that section, and you're going through a cave, and then it stalled, and you're just going up and down, sticking, going, <laughs> like an hour. and then it freezes because your computer can't handle it. That's scary. <laughs> Too much fun. Oh, it'll... oh god. Okay, next. Number nine. Number he Man, one. defenders of Grey Skull. Defenders of Grey Skull. I haven't played that game. It's I got it when I was like eight. If it was for PlayStation 2, and it was like, because I liked He Man at the time, and I even had like my own grey skull. He Man! <laughs> he Man! She Woman! Um, <laughs> he Man! What? Like, who came up with that name? That's funny. Anyway, when I think He Man. I forget. But... <laughs> when, when I think He Man, I think of that one video on the internet where they're doing, um. What's that one, um. song by Fawn and Blondes? And I say, hey! Have you ever seen that video? Oh, that's oh my god, it's so funnily addictive. That's the only thing I actually know. That's the only thing. It's so hilariously addictive. It's the only thing I know about He Man. That and the, that and the whole. I don't know I have why. As soon as I think of He Man, I immediately go to Flash Gordon. And I don't know why. And I start thinking of. Was it in Brian Ted? Blesses. Was it in Ted? Yeah. Yeah, it was really weird. Like, on that. On his like thing, with that guy hugging him. It was so weird. Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. Anyway, Wahlberg anyway, this game. <laughs> what about what, this this game? Right, what? I had it on PS2. Yeah. When I got it when I was like eight. When I was into him, when I had the castle of figures, I was like, oh. Yeah, you were like, uh, you were real. And I was like, you were real. As soon as I found out there were the video game. Video games, if you know I was like, go get that. Go get it. Go get that. Go get it. We, we, we are, we're a gaming channel on YouTube who are doing a top list of bad games and you're saying that it's a nerdy word. <laughs> I've just realised I don't even like video games. <laughs> anyway, I'm out. Anyway, yeah, I got the game and it was like on the box art, on the back it was riding the battle cat. But <laughs> riding the battle cat. <laughs> what was just sat on the game again? <laughs> no, right. <laughs> battle cat. <laughs> Battle cat. What is that? I can't remember the actual name. <laughs> Just jumped on a cat. It's <laughs> a domestic cat. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's a giant cat. No. Um. What? What? <laughs> what I was gonna say is the name Battle Cat. It's like this big cat with big things on it. I know. I know. I know. I know about it's that. <laughs> Crew yeah. Kramer or something. Something. <laughs> and um, and then it showed like images of fighting Skeletor and stuff. Mm, yeah. Fighting big monsters, but I could never get past the first thing. Basically, you got out of this jail, killed a robot, and then there were these things I went, chiz, chiz, chiz. <laughs> you have to jump through them. But I could oh, not no, do it. I can't deal with those in games. <laughs> you got, you've got Crusher for And I could, it, yeah. I could not do it when I was like eight. So I came back to it recently, and I th thinking that my young age was the reason I so, couldn't do it. That I was, was like, this is gonna be easy now. That's one could thing. not do it, could not get past it, I still cannot do it. I think it. I mentioned this in the Star Wars games, that's one thing that I love doing is like having a game when I was younger and then coming back to it, again, they like, and then coming back to it later and being like, I understand it now and it's awesome. So yeah, that wasn't necessarily but in this case, a terrible game, it was just super difficult and I really wanted to like, mm. fight skeletons. Yeah, this isn't necessarily bad games, but games that might be a bit too yeah. difficult I to really want to fight Games that were not because, enjoyable experiences yeah, yeah. for there us. Are, there are difficult games that are fun, Castle, uh, Castlevania, the original one. Yeah. 
Gunstar Heroes, Contra. Oh, that, that's a terrible game, man. That's a terrible game. Is it? It's it's cryptic as all fuck. You, you, that doesn't mean it's bad. <laughs> it is bad though. The it is cryptic, a terrible game. Cryptic. It's, look, right. There's one part of the game. We should have put this on this website now. I think about it. But there's one part of the game where you have to somehow know that you have to buy this specific thing, go over to this location on the map that you won't know to go to, crouch, wait there for a couple of minutes, and then this tornado will come out of nowhere and warp you to where you need to go. This is what How I'm... are you supposed to figure yeah. that out? Now, the people in the town give you, like, are meant to give you advice. are meant to be able to talk to them, give them, they'll give you advice. But not, most of the time, they'll just say this nonsensical bullshit that you, <laughs> you just can't make anything out. I think that should be on this list if I one of these, actually. It's not... It's See, horrible. that's what I didn't like about this playing Minecraft at first. I literally... How are you supposed to know you're supposed to craft a but, bloody table? But there are yeah. games that can pull that off well, like Super Metroid. Any kind of Metroid game, they, they can, can pull that off well. Right, I haven't played Myst as well. That is another one where they literally just drop you drop and you have to work out what yeah. to do. Here you are. Here's your environment. Now fuck off. PC yeah. Right, I'm going to roll off the next one really quickly because it doesn't need much explaining. The Herbs Sims in the City. Never just that. another spin-off Sims game. If you're not building houses, Is it, it the fun. one where it's like the child's version of Sims that all got giant heads? No, it's just, an, it's just normal and you're just in an apartment and I literally, I started playing it and thought, this is the most boring thing I've ever done. It was just, it's just boring. If Sims games are good for what they are, and that's creating and yeah. make and like simulation, that's mm. why yeah. Sims, you know, this is this is just a boring version. That's of that. the worst thing a game can be to me. It's boring. That's yeah. like the most, the worst that's thing. That's kind of the the like, hard fine. The point of a game is to be is to entertain. And the point of a game is to be sort of um, sim- the point of Sims games is to simulate real life. Yeah, and this it just was too much effort to enjoy that because I think my, one of my favorite genres is simulation games. Mm. I don't know what it is about humans, but we love simulating things that already exist when we can create anything and, 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 ruin, and ruin their lives by taking away the but toilet when they're busting. I practice. can't wait for Farm Simulator <laughs> on Xbox. I have a special <laughs> simulator, and, and flight simulator, and like that one's all We right. like simulating that are real, like yeah. um, how was I gonna say something? Like, being in space. Like, um, no, um, we simulate being in our army and shooting people. Yeah, why do we simulate real things? Yeah. But I think we get a thrill from that because we're controlling Well, because we we, 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 we're trying to immerse ourselves into something that we haven't been before. Like, most people who play, like, Call of Duty or Halo or something, it's, like, for example, let's Call of Duty, for example, or Battlefield, it's a better comparison. Battlefield's better. Is the... It's, it's emulating some of the most gamers who play those have never actually been, so to them it gives them that experience of like, this is I'm what it's like I'm to be like, more. Be yeah, I'm and be like that. that power you have of having a gun I'm and being sorry. able to kill people with it. Why it's that do we sense enjoy of power. killing other like, people that are speaking? We don't enjoy it. No, yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> On GTA, no. you, I love oh, in-game. Yeah, in-game. that's what I mean. Why oh, right. do we and thrive? Then, you, because, then, because there's no consequences. You can't think because, of many games without... So people. when you think because about it... Because we know that nothing's going to happen to us. So it kind of puts you in that... I, mean, I can do all this stuff but and when nothing's going to happen to me. It's like dreaming. <laughs> when, yeah. you think about the fact, when you think about the fact that you'd be found killing if there were no consequences... Yeah. Imagine if exactly. there was like in real life. Places, would you kill? Yeah. No, I wouldn't. How well, no, because I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because actually, to take another human life is a huge exactly. psychological mindfuck. It's... Anyways, should we move on? Ah. Uh, Caleb's dropped his phone. <laughs> move on, number seven. <laughs> Moving on, number seven, Guitar Hero My Mobile. Was ringing, man. That shit don't work. <laughs> uh, if you so, gonna... a guitar simulation game without a guitar. Sad. On a touch screen. Guys, before... A good touch screens turned up, which basically tap. spells disaster when you need real time touch yeah. screens. Hell, tap tap revenge is better than that. Tap tap tap, tap revenge. That game is better. Than tap tap revenge was really good. I'm sorry, really responsive. Yeah, it was just well. Then again, it was on the iPhone. Yeah. So. Well, yeah, but even on um, I played it on uh, some kind of Google phone or something like that, and it was yeah. really responsive. Mm. Even that, I think it's the app itself, uh, Guitar Hero, and it said it was free. I got a Guitar Magazine. It said download free Guitar Hero. Five pounds. Five, pounds. Five pounds. Five English pounds. I've played play it once or something. Uh, six. Uh, number six. Another one of my favourite games. Strawberry Shortcake PS2. You keep putting these girl <laughs> games on it. Is there something, is, this game is there something you'd like to tell us? No. I don't want to be a woman. I just enjoy... <laughs> Dude, it looks like a lady. Right in between your legs. Right. Uh, no, it was just <laughs> a terrible game. It's like every... 
TV or especially TV to game, like movies to games, films to games is bad enough. When you get TV to game, professional. And we're back after mothers. Mother of Colin, because we're quite aware. popular tonight on our mobile. We have to be quick, so mother is coming soon. Mother is coming. Okay, let's okay. go. Roll this off quick. Strawberry shortcake, terrible game. It's just terrible. I don't need to explain it. Strawberry shortcake. Right. Number five is Brink. Yeah, Brink. Brink. I, I have that game. And what a good. A that disappointed me on so many levels. A good free run game, it can be done Mirror's Edge. Yeah, exactly. But then, that, but then like. Brink came out and I'm like, oh, free I was so ready for that game. Customization <laughs> cool, but I was crap. I was ready to be enjoy to enjoy that game. And then I played it and it was the biggest boner kill. Aesthetically it was kind of idea and the idea was good. I'm gonna pair myself up for the next one. It was like terrible in general, just everything like it, it could have been so it much. It didn't work. It didn't work. Anyway, next <sighs> Number like four with this one. Sonic Labyrinth. Where do I begin with labyrinth. this? No, labyrinth. I said labyrinth. Labyrinth. Even though it's spelled. Oh, God. Labyrinth. This, this game. The reason I hate this game so much is it is the complete antithesis of Sonic. Right, when you think Sonic, you think, okay, this is a game where we're going to go fast, we're going to be speeding through things. Mm -hmm. So what's the whole premise of the game? Eggman takes away his shoes for slow shoes. So it runs slow, you're moving at like two mile an hour through this labyrinth, you have to collect keys to... It's an isometric view which makes it even worse. What's so this, no, it's it's like 3D but 2D. Like you know, if you draw a cube on a piece of paper, that's isometric 3D. I don't. It, basically, you're looking at a 3D thing on the 2D. Oh, you mean like Sonic CD? No. Okay. Sonic 3D Blast. Right. Just because you're talking. But <laughs> the, that makes it. I mean, I've got nothing against Sonic. I love Sonic 3D Blast, which is also an isometric 3D. But you go on all right speed in that. In this, you just go really slow. You can't jump, which even then raises the question, how can he move if he can't lift his feet to jump? And it, it just it, it just makes... It's on the Game Gear, so it's already been limited by the fact that it's an 8-bit game in an isometric view. And then you go super slow. It's a complete antithesis of Sonic. There's no special stages apart from one, which even serves no purpose. Oh, you me. can't follow anything. And even then, Eggman's giving you these slow shoes, and you can spin dash everywhere. Do you know what it's sad... Do you know what, oh. do you know what Sonic is? Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's just... Oh, it's it's terrible. I cannot stand that game. It's Next. without a doubt my worst Sonic game of all time. Number of threats. That's my record. Ship right. Simulator 2008. Never played it. Why do you use like? I love simulator games. I bought this and I was like, this is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna drive cruise ships. I'm gonna be awesome. I'm gonna. Do it. And then I got it. Turned it on. Don't call me Admiral Tom. I don't <laughs> <laughs> call me Captain Tom. <laughs> Captain Tom Swashbuckler. And uh, I, I installed it, which took about four days. <laughs> um, but I turned it on. What you running ninety five? It took me like four hours to start moving the ship. Of which I just turned it sideways, then it started glitching out like crazy. And I read online, this happens to everyone. And then I eventually got it going into the open water, no land around me, just. It's just a shit. We're lacking in a straight line. And that's it. When you think about it, it's pretty uh, accurate. It's, yeah, yeah, it's pretty accurate. So they didn't have a good. Hey, like, if you're going to play a game where you're on a ship, you want to play the ship. It's an online game. I, it came out like 2006. Let's play, but play. Let's play yeah, Rooster Teeth. That's, that's what I'm thinking of. Achievement Hunter. And that looks like so much fun. I really want to get that game and play that. Because so basically, you're all on a ship and you just have to murder people. But you can't get caught. If there's oh. any witnesses, you get arrested. If anyone... Yeah, if anyone sees you, you get arrested. You just need to murder people in the most extravagant way, and you get more points. You get like, tails with a Tommy gun. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, it's, it's, it looks it looks really good. Anyway, Benji, come with us. Oh, come with us. This, come with us. Uh, number two. Number two. Caleb. King Kong, King Kong DS. DS. I have this game. You're qualified to talk about this. I was like trying to show people that the DS wasn't a gay child game thing. So I was trying to look at first person shooters for it. I was like, oh, here's one, King Kong DS. I got Call of Duty. I'm going to say Call of Duty. Modern Warfare Mobilized. That's a good that, that looks, that looks, I played that, I played that on my mate's DS. You can play it online. For about it, five it, minutes. Yeah, I've played it for like five minutes. Pretty good, but then yeah, I, I thought, oh, what all these first person shooters are at? King, King Kong, Kong DS. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. I quite like it. On PSP, and the graphics are pretty good. Like, on PSP, on PSP yeah. But the graphics on the DS one. <laughs> it's so funny. If you could put a thumbnail of a character the woman? in there. She looks yeah. like King Kong Do in that. the game. <laughs> for, the, for, for, for the video thumbnail, please just have that one screenshot you know, we're looking at. Yeah. You know, here's the black guy. Yeah. 
You <laughs> have to see a picture oh of this. <laughs> oh god. Show us after, show us after. Get it over. Yeah. I'll, I'll keep teasing. Right. right, let's just go to number terrible. one. And number one, I just think this is in bad taste. This game. I don't, I've never heard of it. You don't honest, really need to have heard of this game to know what ethnic cleansing. Mm. That just sounds like a bad game by first principle. Play, Who would think, oh, let's make a game about ethnic cleansing. It's, it's, it's basically a first person shooter where you go around shooting minorities. Ethnically cleansing God, the world. That's not, that's not exactly a, like a bad game as a game. It's just a bad it's bloody a, concept. Oh. That's horrifying. No, yeah, I'm, I'm saying, game play, then, yeah. if, it, if it were, it might, it might it, I don't know if it's a good game or not, and then commenters can say that. It, it might be a good game as in like how you play it, but that's just the concept is horrifying. Who came up with that? I mean, as, I mean like, that could probably be a good game. I don't think it it's like an official ethnic. release game. It's like an online <laughs> it's game. It's still. Oh, oh, that's, that's, coming to Xbox One exclusive. <laughs> ethnic cleansing. God, that is terrible. Have you ever wanted to kill my race? <laughs> hey, are those black guys causing you too much trouble for you to bother about? Well, pull out that machine gun and gun you them down. Ethnic cleansing. The demon just shoots some Mexicans. Please put the <laughs> thumbnails in for these characters off of. What are these? <laughs> it's so funny. They all look like King Kong. Gosh. <laughs> They're all like a shade of grey. I know they are. It's <laughs> the 50 of, of them. <laughs> wait, wait. This is Neanderthal. Just type in King Kong here. Yes. Thumbs up. The graphics are pretty terrible. Oh, I know what game you're on about now. Yeah. I recognise that cover. It wasn't too bad at fun, oh, right? The cover was awesome. <laughs> there was like no draw distance. You could see oh about my meter god. Oh, so it's like Crime Killer. You got no draw at the That's a Alright, well, that wraps it up. Then. I thought you said Cop Killer when it was That was our list. Should we roll off the list one more time? Right then, number 15 is Sonic 06. Numero 14. <laughs> is uh, Aliens Colonial and Marine. Number 13 is Barbie, Barbie, Barbie Horse Barbie. Adventure. Mystery Ride. Ooh. Number 12, Pokemon Rangers. Number 11. Tomb Raider Angel of the D. <laughs> number 10. Number 10, is Winnie it? the Turd. Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Halloween something, I don't know. Uh, whatever that game's called. Number nine was He-Man, Defenders of Grayskull. Defender. Number eight, <laughs> the Earth, Sins in the City. <laughs> um, number seven, Guitar Hero Mobile. Numero six, PS2 Strawberry Shortcake. I don't think PS2 is necessary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's uh, right. number five. Blink. Blink. Number four, Sonic Labyrinth. Rage is coming. Free. 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 We're from the north. Ship, <laughs> Free. Ship Simulator 2008. My shit simulator 2008. Oh, oh shit. shit! Titanic the game. Number two, King Kong <laughs> DS. And number one, Ethnic Cleansing. Ethnic, seriously, guys. Really? That's. That, I, oh. My favourite kind of cleansing. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> on that note, <laughs> we have been MB Gaming. Thank you very much. For <laughs> <laughs> no, B. You said MVB. Oh, yeah. we are, we are MVB. Kaiser, you left yourself out. Anyway, well, that's okay. because I know I'm not very popular, so I'm not going to be Bye bye. 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 You know, it's the sad in the order of our channel name. I'll make it obvious. Oh, you now. don't know our names. You actually do. I hope the camera's been running. <laughs> you <laughs> do know it's cameras on now. If not, I'm just. Right, one's here for help. I'm going to go in. Oh, thank God.